What's good YouTube family? Thank y'all for tuning back into another video. Today we're doing a major transformation. As you can see, my guy came in looking crazy, but you know I'm getting together, I'm gonna get him right for sure. And right here I'm taking a number two guard and I'm just cutting this hair down and I'm cutting it in the pattern that it grows because I had brushed it up. And when doing this with hair like this, you wanna ask the client, do you have any calyx and do you uh how many crowns do you have because some people have multiple crowns and it's it's very important when you're doing the brush session to identify um to identify the crown before you cut into it so then after i do that i'm just also you want to comb when you do a wave cut you want to comb and not brush because combing lifts lifts the hair up off the scalp and brushing lays it flat so you want to lift it up off the scalp so you get the most even cut possible we're going to be doing like a low taper so right here i'm putting the ball line in just right above his ear or right at his, the top of his ear i'm putting it in just straight across the back pretty much um i feel like the back all depends on the shape of the head so you can't really say like yeah this is where i put it on the back of every single person it kind of depends on the shape of the head and then once again i'm putting it right here at this point of the ear and then making sure that i I always make sure I take my time and put my guidelines in because that's going to determine how clean of a fade and even of a fade that you can get. And then I believe this part right here is the most important part in the fade be before you put a blade on because it's going to determine how smooth of a transition you get in your fade. So I start with the blade open and flick out. Then I keep my blade open, go to the top of the guideline, close my lever halfway, go halfway up the guideline. Then I close my lever all the way, take the bottom line out and make the fade as smooth as possible. Right here, I'm going to go with the grain with the number one guard open at first, and then I'm going to close it just to soften this area up to give me a good foundation to fade up into and not take the fade too high. And y'all can see I have my blade open, and I'm just going right up into these first little waves, and I'm making sure that I flick out. I'm going to close my lever halfway, go halfway up that guideline. Then I'm going to close my lever all the way and hit this bottom line out. And I know that it's not going to take this line out completely, with this number one closed but it's going to soften it up very well for me to come in right now and just do detail work so right now i'm just doing detail work so by detail work i mean i'm using the corner of my blade to pinpoint dark spots and bring it to the light so i'm using corner work and i'm also using level work so opening and closing the lever when need be and y'all can see how i used a clipper over comb technique to get that dark spot out at the top of the waves just a minute ago not even a minute it's a couple seconds ago Y'all can see how I'm just pinpointing, I'm using the corner of my teeth. Y'all can see how I'm literally using the corner of my teeth, pinpointing dark spots, and bringing them to the light. Making the fade and the transition of the fade as smooth as possible. I throw in a couple of little, you know, just a couple of little clipper over comb detail work in there. And I'm just bringing this, I'm just making this as smooth as possible. Y'all already know what I like to get into on this side, so without further ado, let's get into the message. The message from today came from my Aunt Marie, and she started out by talking about spending a lot of time in prayer for your friends and loved ones because we don't have a lot of time left, y'all. So make sure that they believe in God, that you're praying for them, and that you're praying that they receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. And I, if you watch my videos multiple times, I taught you how to receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, and that's Romans 10, 9 and 10. That if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and no one believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made to salvation. She also talked about at times how difficult it could be to talk to friends and loved ones about God, but how important it is for us as believers to do, and how joyful and how rewarding it can be when we see a friend or a loved one get saved, get born again, and accept Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior. And you want to make sure that you're talking, you're praying for them in private, but you're also talking to them and minister to them in person when God tells you to. That does a couple of things. It plants seeds. It plants the seed of God in their life. And in the Bible, it says God's word will not return in void. So everything that they hear, that, that is going to come back to them eventually. And it also says in the Bible that no one comes to the father except drawn by the spirit so you gotta let god's spirit speak through you and it also says that as many as are led as many are led by the spirit of god are the sons of god so you know you're a son of god you know you're a child of god a woman of god so let god's spirit lead you 
and plant his seed and his word into your friends and family's lives that's very important and you should wake up every day and ask god to use you like wake up every day and say lord use me today how lord can i use the gifts that you've given me to serve others to serve you to glorify you and to spread your gospel um that's a very important thing to do also and we all i don't care what nobody says every single one of us has gifts like we all have gifts that's that's another thing that marie was talking about today we all have spiritual gifts and we all have natural gifts like obviously one of mine is cutting hair and these youtube videos are just one of the ways that i use one of my gifts to glorify god and to spread the gospel and like i say all the time i'm humble at jesus's feet without him i'm nothing but a 50 record side of god and i can't do anything and with jesus i'm the righteous of god and i can do all things we are to offer our gifts with humbleness and love for god be a good steward of all that god gives you 1 Thessalonians 3.12 Be a cheerful giver, 2 Corinthians 9.7 Share your testimonies Be the vessel God needs you to be and to spread his love Colossians 3.23, Matthew 6.33 Serve with sacrifice 1 Corinthians 12.11 Gifts aren't achieved, they are received from God All gifts from God are free Our gifts are for others, to serve them and God for his glory I am joint heirs with Jesus Christ Pray and ask God ways to use your gifts to glorify Him. Always thank God. Let God use you. Listen and obey. We've got to get serious with our relationship with God. I am a born-again, spirit-filled man of God. The last thing I want to say for this message is if you're a believer, um, just know that you have value. You're very valuable to the kingdom of heaven, to the kingdom of God. And God loves you and He wants to use you for His purpose. Y'all can see how I'm shaping a beard. I'll do the same thing for the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off this black mask. This, with the black mask, it, it exfoliates skin and it peels off um, blackheads and uh, just acne in general. This kind of that stare down you have, you know, if you if y'all ever box, I, I I grew up boxing, so you know you gotta stare at your opponent. This is kind of how I was just now. How I was looking at the hair. I'm looking at it in the mirror. Just thinking like what I'm gonna do to this lineup, how I'm gonna beat this lineup up. So right here, y'all, I went ahead and I cleaned the canvas. You wanna make sure that your canvas is always clean because uh, artists don't paint on a dirty canvas, so you shouldn't cut on a dirty canvas. So I went and I wiped all the hair away. Then I took some holding spray, which I use Trust Me Made Volume 4 or 5. I sprayed it behind the ear, I sprayed it, and, and then I sprayed this neck strip. Then I'm gonna wipe it in. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fade this beard in right here. I went with the grain first, and now I'm going up against the grain, which is the same fading process, just uh, reversed, like upside down, but it's still open halfway and closed. Go ahead and tap it in with the one, just right at that line. And to begin this lineup around the ear, I'm gonna start by tapping in my slant and making sure that I just get it nice and clean. Y'all can see I'm looking at multiple angles. Then I'm gonna go ahead and to do the to do the arch around the ear, I'm gonna convert to the corner of my blade. And never be scared to put your client in the position you need them to be to give them the best cut possible. And to also keep yourself comfortable because as bar as a client, they might have to stay in a couple a, a spot or a position for a couple minutes. We have to do this all day, so make sure that they're aware of that like say it nicely and they'll they usually just do what you tell them to do. Then I'm gonna tap the beard in. And then I'm gonna rinse and repeat do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna tap in my slant, then I'm gonna use, convert to the corner of my blade and finish making that arch shape around the ear. Then I'm gonna comb the hairs down one more time and I'm gonna cut any overhanging hairs to solidify my lineup to make sure that there are no, no overhanging hairs so that my lineup is truly solidified. Then I'm gonna tap the back of the beard in on this side, making sure I use both hands. And then I'm gonna spray the front with the holding spray. And then I'm gonna wipe it in with the next strip. And then I'm gonna blow dry it. Y'all can see when I blow dry, I like to wipe the hair in the direction that it needs to be so that it's all holding in the right direction. And then if you've watched my videos before, y'all know I like to start in the middle of my lineup. I like to work my way to the side. Once the front meets the side, I tap in the vertical bar and then I put the C cup in. 
y'all can see i'm just being very patient letting this lineup come to me i'm not digging into it remember that we did cut his hair down from a long way so even though it looks like he has hair on that right side like i pushed him to it but i didn't because that's just overhanging hairs then like i said i'm going i'm gonna tap this vertical bar in making sure that i'm patient not pushing it in making sure i'm just drawing it getting that 90 degree angle and now with the c cup i'm gonna start it at the bottom of the vertical bar make sure i get it as high as possible and then i'm gonna go to the bottom of the c cup and i'm gonna tap a line in and then i'm gonna work my way up to the top and meet them in the middle y'all can see how i'm just being very i'm not i'm not rushing this i'm letting it come to me and i'm, I'm seeing it drawn out you know what i mean i'm seeing it drawn out making sure i'll just be very careful and just let the clipper do the work don't press into the skin don't press hard don't cut your client up y'all can see that mug sharp already looking crispy already but i'm gonna go ahead and like i said i'm gonna solidify the lineup so i'm gonna go over it again making sure that i comb the hairs making sure that i cut any overhanging hairs so that there aren't any so that the lineup solidified and i'm gonna just rinse and repeat do the same thing on this side also i just want to throw this in there he, he got married this day. Y'all know look, people love to come to me for their wedding cuts. So congratulations on getting married, bro. God bless you. I pray nothing but blessings for you and your wife and your marriage. Keep God first and continue to prosper in your life and your marriage. God bless. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap his mustache in. And he didn't really care how his mustache was for real. So I just went ahead and I made it about like a medium type of mustache. This is definitely one of them cuts that I wish that I would have let left on natural. But I'm pretty sure he was getting married. He wanted enhancements. He really wanted uh, me to put the Drake certified certified lover with a hardness head. But I told him, like, bro, you don't want to do that. You don't want to look back at your wedding pictures and have that. But like I said before, man, this is definitely one of the cuts I wish that I would have left on natural. And something that I learned from this, if y'all make your own YouTube videos, Make sure that you take um, after. Make sure that you take after videos of the cut before enhancements and then after enhancements. I'm definitely gonna start doing that. I'm gonna have to make time for it because, like I said, if I if I didn't have to show this without a hint or with yeah, if I didn't have to show this with enhancements, I wouldn't. If I could just do without enhancements, I definitely would much rather did that. Not that the enhancements look bad. I just think that I just like all natural cuts like. I like showing that my skills as a barber and this is just one of them one of them cuts that as a barber me personally i just man i just wanted this one to be all natural i wish i would have left it all natural right here i'm just making sure that i get this i know i just said that a lot too y'all but man it's just one of them make sure i got it nice and clean up under his beard all right y'all let me know what y'all think about this cut in the comment section if you came because you like watching barber videos i hope that it satisfied you if you came to learn something, I hope that you take something from my game and advance in your career and your craft and your life. And if you came for the message, I hope that it reached y'all. Y'all continue to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and like and comment on my videos because this puts me in YouTube algorithm more and it's going to allow me to reach more people and to leave more people. I still have a goal of hitting 10K by the end of the year. All the power, glory, and honor and praise be to God. Thank y'all for tuning to the Lake Show. I hope to see you back on the, I hope to see you back on the next video. And may God bless.